after that last episode, in all honesty, we still have a lot of work to do with this roster, particularly when it comes to our second unit. Our starting five is pretty fine, it's lit in all honesty, but coming off the bench besides Norman Powell, I mean, who else do we really have? We need to improve this roster in all honesty. So <laughs> hopefully we could get that done in this episode. But before I continue, what's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is the Prince YouTube PS Compulsion signing in here, AKA Prince Anthony. Let's keep the rebuild going. There's one player that I definitely would love to come off the bench with the second unit. Where is he at? Emmanuel quickly, bro. I want him from the New York Knicks. We tried to get him during the off season, but we was not able to do so. But we're gonna do so in this episode. I don't care what it takes. 70 overall, they didn't even give him his face skin. And you know what's funny? Is that they just dropped a patch 2K, updating his face skin. And if you just go to regular quick play, you see it right here. You can use it. 77 overall. He even got a badge now. They updated his stats, his face scan, all that good stuff. But when I load up my My NBA, he still has that default face scan that they gave him. Not even a face scan. He have a custom player build. Like, that's insane. So what I'm going to do is download his player DNA and put it in my NBA. Like, it really did my guy dirty, though. But anyways, we are going to get rid of this BS custom face that Emmanuel quickly have. Import player DNA, and I have to get the custom one by, you know, downloading it from the Play Now section, or whatever you guys want to call it. But anyways, I am importing his appearance and his attributes. Look, we got the new updated Emmanuel quickly here on my Las Vegas Royals, my NBA point guard not a two guard although he could play the two guard position i might change him to the two guard position in all honesty but i like running him at the point so we'll leave it as as a point guard for now or leave him as a point guard for now i should say but anyways we are going to make a deal for quickly he's a 77 overall got his face scan in there let's see if the knicks would take this blackwell and a second rounder for quickly and nope still nothing Keep in mind, Emmanuel quickly never played a game in the NBA as yet. I'm going to throw in this future first rounder that I got from the Atlanta Hawks, a lottery protected pick. They're more than likely going to fall into the lottery. And the New York Knicks agreed to our trade offer. Welcome to the squad, Emmanuel quickly. I hope you guys don't get upset at me doing this because I really wanted his actual face skin in the game or here on my My NBA and I wanted to trade for him. Maybe I should have kept the attributes, but in all honesty, he needs his updated attributes, bro. The dude's a beast. So our second unit still isn't really looking the best best, but with quickly and done two good backup point guards. I'm putting Chris Dunn at the two. Manuel quickly, backup point guard, Robert Williams, backup center. So those are three good players that we have right there. Norman Powell is a walking bucket. Our second unit drastically became better now that we have quickly on the team and our starting five was already lit as it is in all honesty so this team should be a lot better in my opinion we're going to keep Emmanuel quickly we're going to develop him see how good he could become here on my NBA but I'm really glad to have him on the team hopefully like I said you guys don't get upset at me doing this but bro it's quickly we talking about and I'm probably gonna do the same for all the players that have like updated face scans that 2k didn't you know fix for my NBA probably just import their appearance and attributes as well so it's time for our fan night first home game of the nba season matched up against the denver nuggets our starting five is lit as always rj barrett should at least be an 80 overall by now i don't know why it says he's a 79 dude is an 80 overall in my eyes anyways first home game of the regular season we're two and one for the nba season so far the nuggets is one and oh let's go vegas we got this yeah i know the motto if we win the tip, we win the game. There we go, we win the tip. So we are definitely gonna win the game and we gotta attack the basket right away. And nice defense by the Denver Nuggets to stop me. But here comes D'Angelo Russell getting it to Mitchell Robinson and he bails me out. I didn't know what I wanted to do on that possession in all honesty. Kinda wanted to dunk it with Mitchell Robinson but he didn't cut. That would've been an easy alley-oop. But here's Townsend. Excellent defense by the Nuggets to start this game. Like bro, relax. Running that beautiful pick and roll though. D'Lo to that basket. That should have been an and one. Oh yeah, don't yet Jokic get nothing. Murray should have never launched that shot. Oh, he made it? I can't even lie. That was a pretty good look for Murray, but at the same time, I didn't expect that to go in. Let's see what we got in this possession though. Russell right there. Got the defender up in the air. Getting it to Townsend. He banks it in. Jokic driving. D'Lo, you can't leave Murray open. That's perfect for him. 
Yeah, pretty sure the Hall of Fame CPU just, just got a perfect Sorry, release. <laughs> So, pretty good offense by both teams to start this game. D'Lo kicking it out. Barrett cannot get the wide open three. Kicking it out. D'Lo, perfect release. He gets the three points right back. Quickly with the floater. Oh, man, he couldn't get that to go. Nice offensive rebound. Barrett for three. Can't get it to go. Listen, we've been making shots like that all game, in all honesty. They launch a three. Can't get it to go. Okay, both teams are starting to slow down on the offensive end, in all honesty. But here comes R.J. Barrett. I'm dropping to the basket. That's an and one. There we go. R.J. Barrett to the basket. And one. There we go. He knocked out the free throw, though. There we go. I'll take it. Game might come down to the wire, though. Oh, Murray pulls up. Can't get it to go. That was a bad look. Bad shot, in all honesty. But here comes quickly. Let's see what I got in this possession. I'm driving. That's an easy layup. It looks like he hit him in his head, too. Here's Murray. Not going anywhere. Perfect defense by quickly. Bad shot. Jamal is trying to take some horrible shots. Like, what is he doing? But let's see what I got. Can we keep our offense rolling? We got a four point lead. Chris Dunn inside. Getting it to Williams. I'm going to just put it up. Oh, man. I knew I was going to miss that. I get the offensive rebound. Williams with the poster. No. He did not have to do him like that. I was thinking about trading Robert Williams, but after that poster, I got to reconsider. Look at that. That was the poster of the year so far in the NBA season just started. Jokic, get out of the way. Beautiful post. Yo, he even fell, bro. Look at him. Jokic did not know what hit him at all. Look at the bench. As soon as that dunk happened, the bench could not believe it. Yo, that's the post of the year so far. Robert Williams, my hat's off to you. Dozier pulls up. Can't get it to go. That's a bad shot. Both teams, in all honesty, been taking some bad shots. I'm going to bring my starters back in, though. Let's see what we got in this possession. Run that beautiful pick and roll. Oh, yeah, that's an easy layup for Chris Dunn. He's right there. There's no way he should miss, and he misses. What's that? Oh, there we go. We get the steal. Mitchell Robinson with the poster. Another one. First, it was Robert Williams. Now, it's Mitchell Robinson. Next offseason, I got to send my team to free throw shooting training camp because we've been getting to the free throw line, but we haven't been making anything. While the Denver Nuggets been getting to the free throw line, and they've been making everything. So we're not making anything. They're making everything. That got to change, bro. But anyways, oh, yeah, I see you, Mitchell. Beautiful alley you. Once you see Mitchell Robinson drive into the basket, just throw it up, bro. I'm surprised this game is still close. This game is literally going back and forth. Jokic for three. Can't get it to go. He looked like Steph Curry for a second. Pulling up like that. But here comes Russell all the way to the basket. That should have been an and one. I got hit. Two of 11 from the field. He still got 10 rebounds, though. As Gary Harris takes it all the way to the basket. But both teams have not scored in a while. Except for that last bucket by Gary Harris. But don't count that. Got to get my second unit in here. My starters need a little bit of a rest. They're not doing much. Here's Russell, though. Nice pass to Townsend. He needed that bucket. I mean, hopefully this game don't come down to the wire. But looking like it is. All right, let's see. Wait, what just happened? Oh, it looks like my game is about to crash. Like, Nuggets have a two-point lead. Okay, the game didn't crash. The cutscene just froze, though. That's that BS I be talking about when it comes to 2K. I don't know what just happened. But anyways, we're down by two points to start the fourth. He has quickly. Oh, they can't leave power open. Perfect release on the three. Don't let Murray drop to the basket. Stay right there. Oh, he's not making that. Come on. Grab that rebound. Let's go. He had a pretty good look. I don't even know who that was, but he looks like he can't shoot three-pointers. <laughs> Let's see what we got in this possession. Manuel quickly running that beautiful pick and roll. Not going anywhere, though. Let's try with Chris Dunn this time. I'm trying to get it to Robert Williams inside. Ah, oh, man, the shot clock is winding down. Oh, wait, somebody's... Oh, oh, they love power open. Another perfect release on the three. You can't leave him open. It's been a bad fourth quarter for both teams. But D'Lo calling that ice on Jamal Murray. Let's see what I got. I'm, of course. Why am I not surprised? I told you guys, I get at least five charging fouls every single game, bro. That must be something that only happens on, like, my NBA. Oh, get that weak stuff out of here. Excellent defense. They call a timeout. And I'm still mad about that charge. Yeah, I know the only thing that matters right now 
is that we don't give up a three-pointer. And now it's stuck at this camera angle. What is this? What is... Okay, there we go. Crowd needs to chant defense a little bit louder. We have a three-point lead. We can't give up any threes. They get fouled, but we did not let them get the bucket. That's all that really matters. As long as they don't, they didn't get the quick two. Oh, there we go. Morris misses the first free throw. Knocks down the second one. Still a two-point game. But I'm glad he missed the first free throw, though. Let's see what we got in this possession. Up by two. Time to put the nail in the coffin. Taking the first available shot. Here comes D'Angelo Russell. Driving to the basket. And where is the foul? Two-possession game. Let's keep it going, bro. 30 seconds remaining. Who are they going to go to? Looks like they might go to the Joker. Yep, yes, they are. They're not going to take a three. But the Joker, wow, he actually made that. Okay. I was going to say he was not getting that shot up over Mitchell Robinson. We're going to have to play the free throw game. All we got to do is knock down both of them, and this game is basically over. Let's see if we could get it done. First free throw is a perfect release. That's a change. Tonight we have not been making free throws. Second free throw is good. Thank you. Thank you, D'Lo. This game is done. Are they going to go for the quick three? Playing some good defense so far. Jokic pulls up. Cannot get it to go. Yep, this game is done. I should have threw it up ahead to RJ Barrett. Let him get that breakaway dunk. Let's see if we can knock down both free throws. Okay, now all of a sudden we want to make all of our free throws, right? Second free throw is no good. See? It's been like that for us all game. But for most of the game, we haven't been making our free throws. At least we knocked down our free throws in the clutch. And they're wasting too much time. This game is over. Ladies and gentlemen, this game and this W belongs to us. Good game by the Denver Nuggets, though, in all honesty. They gave us a run for our money, but when it came down to it, we closed them out. Excellent game by the Denver Nuggets. Jokic, 10 points. Six rebounds. Morris had 13 points. Jamal Murray had 15. Like I said, this was a pretty good game for them. Good balance box score when I normalize play to simulation stats. Jamal Murray had 25 points, 10 of 18 from the field, 3 of 3 from downtown. Morris had 23. The Joker, 18 and 10. Excellent game by the Denver Nuggets. I can't complain. This box score might look a little bit crazy. 0 of 4 from the field for Ivan Rab. I took a lot of shots. I probably shouldn't have. Chris Dunn was 1 of 4. Wilson Townsend was 3 of 12. Quickly was 4 of 11. I was just launching shots this game, in all honesty. So don't don't really pay too much mind to the box score. But D'Angelo Russell, 20 points, 7 of 8 from the field. He did his thing. RJ Barrett was 2 of 8. Norman Powell, 2 of 70. I was launching shots, bro. Quickly in his debut with the Las Vegas Royals, 19 points, 7 of 19 from the field. I took a lot of bad shots. I was just trying to get a feel for his play style and his jump shot. Wilson Town said I took a lot of bad shots with him as well. 21 rebounds, though. 12 points, that's what I want to see. Then RJ Barrett, 3 of 14 from the field. I was launching threes after three with RJ, 0 of 7 from downtown. But D'Angelo Russell put the team on his back as always. 35 points, 5 rebounds, 7 assists. He did his thing. So I'm really glad we were able to get that victory. And in all honesty, our second unit is looking much better. And another player that's low-key been impressing me is Robert Williams, bro. I'm really thinking about keeping him on the squad now. I know in the last episode, I asked you guys if I, I should trade him for, like, Tristan Thompson or somebody. But I'm actually thinking about keeping him on the team and trying to convince him to stay. Maybe I got to get his trust and morale up. I don't know. But this dude, low-key, has been beasted in all honesty. Look at all the rebounds he be grabbing. Defense, impeccable. Offense, timely offense at that pretty good as well i don't know i'm just i don't know i just might keep him in all honesty i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comment section below leave me a thumbs up also subscribe if you haven't why haven't you subscribed also click on the players on the screen check out some of the content we dropping quality my nba content out here although 2k isn't really the best right now we're still making the best of it and i'll see you guys in the next video bro this is prince of youtube signing out